What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe, tap the bell so you guys know when I go live or post a new video. And be sure to follow me over on TikTok, Facebook, and Twitch for the live streams. And of course, the website right there on the screen, acrylics.com with a one, acrylics, the one and only dot com. Let's dive right into the video at hand today, which is the Fafine or Five Fine? If any, I don't even know. It's a weird name, but it is their Ampla Game microphone kit. If you're a streamer starting out or you just want to make some sort of content for YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, you know, whatever. You need a microphone, a good one, and you're going to need a stand or a boom arm like I've got right here to move your mic around. The question is... How good of a microphone is this for the price? It comes with a microphone, a cable, it also works USB, or if you have a preamp, works with XLR and it comes with the boom arm. This is perfect for me because I was an audio engineer and ran my own recording studio for over 20 years. And I'm a musician and I still produce music. So audio is one of my fortes and I'm using a Shure SM7B right here, which is industry standard. I have a really expensive and nice boom arm that I'm using. So I wanna compare my setup to this microphone and since it does usb and also xlr what we're going to do is we're going to run it usb compare it against my xlr preamp setup with focus right on the sm7b i figured doing a usb comparison would be really good but not only that being able to compare this microphone to the sm7b on the same focus right preamp and cables which means there's going to be no difference between both setups except the actual microphone is it going to be as good as the sm7b i highly doubt it and i would be very shocked if it was however this is a $500 microphone this is an $80 $90 microphone with the kit actually I think it's a little bit less than that let's go ahead and unbox this so we're gonna unbox and I'm going to turn this around so you guys can get a little bit better of a view here comes with instructions here self-explanatory we don't really have to worry about that you guys will see that this is packaged very well. Like everything is organized. It is packaged very well. So far, so good. We got ourselves a really nice USB-C, USB 3 microphone cable right there. We have the mount for the desk for the boom arm. This goes on the bottom and the rubber grip here goes on the top. I will tell you, I've tried different microphone stands in the past that were $30 on Amazon. This one's actually much higher quality. I would give this probably like a solid six or seven out of ten maybe better it's definitely not as good as the one i'm using right now but the one i'm using now is probably like a nine out of ten the ones that i purchased before on amazon were crummy this one is definitely better so this is pretty much the industry standard from china the same boom arm you're gonna get for pretty much any of the chinese products you find on amazon or ebay maybe slightly different but i've bought two or three different arms before this one they're pretty much all like this i will say one thing's for sure is that on the previous arms that i bought that were like this they didn't have as good of a base as this one and the base is what broke first the arms aren't too bad it comes with the adapter you can see right here for the microphone we'll take that off because we're going to put it into the microphone first and now the moment you've all been waiting for it is time for the microphone i'm going to be totally honest up front with this this microphone is significantly heavier than i thought it would be and the construction's definitely better than i thought although the bracket that is metal here uh, is a little bit heavier than the microphone itself together they're quite heavy this is actually a very high quality system here for this microphone price range when i tighten the microphone stand here it's got a really good resistance this is actually very fluid to be honest this is much better than i thought it would be as far as just overall physical quality the welds look good the screen is good all the composition of how everything's designed is really good so if i was told this was an expensive microphone brand but not sure which one it was it was not branded and was handed to me and they asked me can you guess i wouldn't have much trouble feeling like this could pass for a sure microphone or possibly uh maybe even Audix or something like that. Uh, so you can see right here, headphone output, USB-C and XLR. Right here, you have your microphone gain, your headphone outputs, as well as your lighting control right here for the LEDs on the back. You're gonna be able to hear yourself if you plug your headphones in here. However, if you're using a good set of headphones like I use, uh, Sennheiser HD 800Ss, they're open back headphones, so you don't have to worry about that. So what I did was I adjusted the level on both microphones to make sure that they were both and completely at the same level. Then I went ahead and copied all my compressor settings over from the Shure SM7B microphone to the Fafine microphone. One more time, this is the Shure SM7B and the Shure SM7B microphone. And right now we're talking on the Fafine microphone, which is set up on USB. You can see guys that the lighting is really cool on this microphone. And this is touch sense, not an actual button. 
I like the rainbow or the red for a microphone while you're on the air. That's pretty cool. I'll just leave it there. Let's go ahead and try the XLR now that we've done the USB. Now, I'm going to be completely honest here. I just listened to the comparison that I recorded. I will say that the microphone sounds pretty good, but it's a little bit thin in the mid-range and the low end, and it definitely has a little bit more pop up top, which is more sparkle. Typically, Chinese microphones or cheaper microphones are a little bit more thin in the mid to low range, but a little bit more bright and brittle on the upper range. There's a little bit too much 2K, 10K, and 12K on the Fafine microphone, and there's just not enough uh, 200, 300 hertz, or even 1,000 hertz, and there's definitely uh, not a lot going on below 120 hertz. It's missing that overall warmth and thickness that you get in the lower end of the spectrum, and it's more brittle on the top end. That's not saying a lot of negatives about the microphone, because this microphone is, like I said, $80 with the boom arm versus $500 for just the microphone. Sure has been making microphones a heck of a long time and use the highest quality stuff. In fact, the best microphones money can buy. It's not a surprise. It's a good microphone for the money. You can't go wrong. In fact, this is better than a lot of microphones that I've tried under $100. And there's plenty microphones out there that I've tried that are under 50 that plain out suck. This is a good microphone. It's not bad at all. Let's test out the XLR because it's going to the same preamp and the same cable as the SM7B. So this is a comparison between the SM7B and the Fafine microphone. Right now, we are on the Shure SM7B. We're going to go back and forth with the Shure SM7B and the Fafine microphone on XLR connectivity instead of USB. So right now, SM7B, we're going to go ahead and switch over to the Fafine microphone on the same exact preamp and XLR. So I disconnected my Shure SM7B. I've got the Fafine microphone here. I am talking through the exact same cable and preamp. It's even connected to the same boom arm, as you guys can see right here. Everything is identical except the microphone. We have the same gain that we had when it was on USB. So we're going to compare this back and forth to the SM7B. Right now, we're on the Fafine microphone on XLR. So what I've done this time is I have got the gain turned down in the compressor to not output as much gain so we can get the level a little bit more comparable to the SM7B. We're bypassing all the gain in this microphone and we're outputting a clean signal to the cloud lifter as well as the Focusrite preamp. So what this has allowed me to do is bypass all the preamps inside of the microphone, which are going to be of less quality than the Focusrite or the cloud lifter. And we're going to compare the capsule in the microphone. How good can this microphone be pushed? And clearly, I've listened to the microphones. This microphone sounds a lot better when it's connected to XLR, the cloud lifter, and the Focusrite preamp versus versus when it was connected to the USB. I'm quite shocked that the Fafine microphone is a lot better than I thought it would be. And the key here is if you run it in USB, it's a solid microphone, easy to set up, no preamp needed, 80 bucks, and you're on your way to filming reviews, streaming, all kinds of good stuff. However, if you want to get a little bit more serious and run it via XLR right here in the back, then you can do that with a nice preamp. And I'll put a link in the information box below to my preamp that I use, as well as a more affordable one, and of course, the cloud lifter that I'm using. And you can turn the preamp gain on the microphone pretty much to zero and allow the hardware to do most of the work, if not all of the work, and giving you a much cleaner sound. This microphone, and really the ultimate question is, what is your budget? You don't have four or $500 to spend on a good microphone like the SM7B. It's going to be really hard to beat this Fafine microphone considering what you get for the cost. Thank you so much for stopping and watching this video. I really appreciate you guys. Be sure to check me out over on TikTok, Twitch, and Facebook for all the live games streams. Be sure to subscribe here and tap the bell. Check out the information box below for the links as it really helps the channel grow. Be sure to stop in the live streams and hang out with me sometime. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Be sure to check out the website, acrylics, the one and only .com, right there on the screen. And I will catch all of you guys on the next upload or live stream. Take care of yourselves. You guys are still here? I mean, we already finished the review on the microphone. This video is over with. I've nothing left to tell you about the Fafine microphone. It's done. It's over. There's another video right there. And it's just as good as this one, if not better. You should click it.